Hello Boss Crafters, welcome back to Boss Craft. Check out the progress we have here. This is the main hallway to our guardian farm in our base. And I put in a little bit of a hallway to the outside right here. And this will be underneath the aquarium, the fire aquarium. This is the south side. So I've done a whole lot of progress here. I put in all this hallway. I put these chests here. This is just for random stuff that I want to drop off quick. We'll eventually put, automate this and make it so I would be able to come right in here, drop whatever I want in the chest, and it'll be sorted into a, into a big storage system around the base. And I've been doing some clearing of the water around here underneath the, the base put my bedroom in here and we got a little bit of a it's hard to see because I don't have a whole lot of lighting down there and I don't have a whole lot of like I wanted to put some coral fans in there and stuff but it didn't it didn't uh, produce for me when I did the bone meal and then we got this little room here that we did on a stream and I'll get back to that in a minute. I got a surprise for you there. We also came over here and put an enchantment room. And we brought some, we've been doing some enchantment, enchanting, enchantment. <laughs> so I got all these books. That chest is going to be for brewing, like brewing potions and stuff. And then I brought some lapis lazuli over there. And we still have all this water to clear out. And all the way back here, I'm going to put a floor down here. We have to clear all this out, all this stone. Back here, this is where my vault will be. So we'll put all my treasures and stuff like that down in here. We'll make a vault door probably right here. And move this conduit and make this all look pretty. And then we'll have a vault in the back there. And it'll be like encased in obsidian and stuff like that. So what I want to show you in this other room is if we take a look. So there's just a crafting table, right? This will be like, I guess you could cons consider it my closet. Because <laughs> it's connected to my bedroom. But what I, what I did in this room, this will be like just my closet. And then we'll have this little secret secret doorway here if I press this button go straight down the whole floor just goes straight down and then you can get back up via that button boom and you can't even tell that there's a door there or an elevator I love it so much so that's a little surprise for you guys um, the redstone is very easy actually if I just break through here, let's break through here. The red, oh, got a little crazy there. The redstone is very easy. It's, I don't want to break any of these blocks because that's going to break into underneath the bedroom. And then water will come in here and just destroy all the redstone. But all it basically is, so if we look down here, actually, you know what, let's go over to this side. And let's break in right here. So all it is, is just three pistons, all in a line right here, with five slime blocks on top of it. On top of the slime bo blocks, it's whatever block you want on top of there. And I put a crafting table, because I want to have a crafting table in the middle of the room. And also in the tutorial that I found for this, this is from Cubfan135. I use a lot of his stuff because he's a great YouTuber, great Minecrafter. But he also used a crafting table, so I just figured I'd, hey, what the heck, you know, that's a good idea. So we did that, and then all it is is just one repeater on four, on the most delay, four, cl four click delay, redstone dust for that piston. And then it's two two ticks for oh I just broke myself in here or locked myself in there. But it's just a repeater with two ticks delay, and then all, this is connected to 
the buttons, which actually there's a T flip flop, what's called a T flip flop, and that's right here. This is a T flip flop. So you got three droppers. This guy is facing this guy. This guy is facing the hopper. And then the hopper is facing into this dropper. And as of right now, we have a, just one item. And all you need is, it doesn't matter what it is. I just use a button. You just need one item. And what will happen is when you press the button, either button, this item will go from this dropper to this dropper, be sucked from the from the dropper to the hopper, and then put back into this. And this hopper is pointing into this hopper, and it'll be shot right back into that hop or dropper. And what that does is it sends the signal this way, and then sends it to the pistons, making it work. That allows you to both use that button to go up and down and use this button to go up and down. So it doesn't matter which button you press, you can just go up and down either way. And it's very easy, very handy, and yeah. So what we're gonna use this for, if I put this back, put the sea lanterns back, and then put the sea lanterns back there, put that there, okay. So. What we're going to use this for is the entrance to the vault. And there will be eventually a staircase right here leading down to a platform where the conduit is. And then we'll have a big vault door right here. Redstone vault door, probably. I got to I got to find a good design for one. But it'll probably have a key. So we have to have a certain item that we throw into a hopper and or a chest or whatever and then that item will tell the door hey we got the key we can we can enter and we'll it'll open the door and we'll go and then if you put the wrong item in the in the chest or hopper or whatever we use then the door won't open type deal and of course it's minecraft you can just break into the vault with the pickaxe but yeah it's it's for more for uh looks than anything but yeah that's the progress we got today or we've been doing in the last couple of days there's one more thing i want to show you guys before we start getting on what i want to do in today's episode and i'm just going to clear some of these guardians out quick real quick there we go all right and then get rid of the stuff in my inventory because you always pick up stuff when you hit the guardians but yeah there's one more thing i want to show you guys we'll put this prismarine back oh i didn't even show this door yet um so there's pressure plates right here and it's very simple two by three piston door and we've got sea lanterns all the way around it to light it up. And then we got pressure plates on this side too, so you can just walk in and out of our base just like that. I thought that was pretty cool. And there's the redstone. You can you can check it out from the outside of the tank. And all it is is just three pistons on each side, sticky pistons. And the redstone torch powers these two pistons and then that block takes the signal from the redstone torch into this piston so all three pistons are powered by that torch whoop I'm getting stuck here and then there's a repeater on each side of that block with redstone dust linked up to, to the pressure plates on each side and on each side of that side <laughs> and th that's what turns off each torch on each side of the door which opens up the door so that's that, and then if I get, let's go back down here so I can take off. If I get up top, I got one more thing to show you guys, and this is going to be the plan for the outside of the base. So if I fly up here, and when I turn around, you guys are going to have a surprise. Boom! There we go. Yes, we are making a pyramid. This is going to have 
So we're going to have the prismarine bricks on the corners, but we're going to have the fire design on that platform in the glass, but it's going to be stained glass. We're going to use like orange glass, we're going to use yellow glass, and we're going to use black glass for the top. So I'm not sure if I want to cut it off right here at this point and just do the bottom half glass and then the rest of the pyramid like prismarine I'm not sure but then we'd have to light up the top of the pyramid each side will have their own respective designs on each side for stained glass I think I will go all the way to the top with the pyramid with the glass just so that way we don't have to light it up and mobs can't spawn each side will have their own respective stained glass colors this side will have like green, brown type deal with a sky. And then this will be like thundering sky over here. It'll just look like water is on this side like this. And yeah, that's the basic outside of the monument. And that's what we're going to have for our base. We're going to have this be a pyramid. And eventually we'll have, like I said before, aquariums all the way around the outside yeah I think it will look really nice especially with the with the stained glass designs on each side of the pyramid it'll be a very unique and very distinguished build I would say and yeah so that's our progress for today or for what we've been doing what I want to start on today actually is nothing really in in the base I actually want to take a break from the base. Oh, we left our door open. Let's bring that guy back up. But nothing in the base. I don't want to work in the base today. I want to head over to the Mushroom Island. And I really want to get started on a sugarcane farm. Because, yeah, we're in desperate need of paper. We're in desperate need of rockets. I'm not too worried about sugar itself. But, yeah, paper. And we need to paper for rockets we just need to automate it so I'm gonna start heading over there and I'll see you guys on the flip side but first let me take a time-lapse
Thank goodness we did not lose our stuff in that many time lapse, guys. We got our stuff back, and our safe is looking a lot more hefty. We got a lot more diamonds, a lot more gold, a lot more iron, even though a lot of this is from an iron farm, but, yep, we got a lot more riches. Ho, 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 boss crafters, check this out. We've got an entire platform set up for the sugarcane farm we've got the collection transport system set up right here and that leads right into our random storage unit over there and yeah this is going to be a massive sugarcane farm we're going to have rails across here going all the way across and then we're going to put dirt on top of that and we're going to have sugarcane all the way from this side to that side and hopefully that'll be a lot a lot of sugarcane and we won't have to worry about harvesting it manually what I need to do right now is get the minecart the hopper minecart unloading system set up here on this side and what it's basically gonna do is gonna have a minecart on each block and we're gonna have just one line on each block and they're gonna start at this side and go all the way to the other side and then bounce back unload their stuff right here and then just continue doing that for the entirety of the farm and yeah so I gotta get started on that I gotta probably make a lot of hoppers probably make um, 
a lot of comparators, a lot of repeaters, a lot of stuff like that. So I'm going to head right into it. Progress update everybody. Here is the halfway done sugarcane farm. We have our hopper minecart unloading system set up right over here. We have all the rails down, all the dirt down. And what I basically need to do now is put slabs in between the dirt to hold the water so it don't mess up all the rails. And that's basically what it's going to look like right here. This will be, this is kind of like a little diagram of what it will look like. So the slabs in between the dirt on the sugar cane. And those hold down, if I can get under here. Those hold back the water from hitting the rails and destroying everything. So that's what I need to get working on right now is placing all the slabs and all the water. All the water, putting all the water in the slabs is going to be a big job because we have to do each block. We can't just, you know, go down the line and we have to waterlog each slab. And that is a big job. That's a big job in itself and it's going to take a lot of time. Placing the slabs itself will not be as bad, but it'll be a time consuming it in itself as well and yeah so I'm gonna get started on that alright ladies and gentlemen we have the farm finished we have the slabs in we have all the water we have the sugar cane and we also have the flying machines and the send-off stations on each side installed and I also have over on this side if I fly over here real quick the redstone to send off the hopper mine carts, which is right here. This is all the hopper or the redstone for the hopper mine carts. Um, that's how we did it to separate so it doesn't loop, because this would just continuously loop if we just put a line of redstone and did it that way. And this connects all the way to the front of the farm, all the way up here. You can see the redstone line coming all the way over here and it connects right here and then this lever right here turns on both the hopper mine carts and the flying machines at the same time and here are the flying machines as you can see we put glazed terracotta all the way around the side so the flying machines don't stick to anything and then we put glass blocks on the end of the flying machines so they don't stick to each other we had to um, leave a gap on this side because the push limit for the pistons were over here and I, I had, excuse me, I had already built it and I didn't want to move everything so I just, I just didn't do that line. We're going to get so much sugar cane from this farm it's not going to matter if we have one, one not planted. But anyway, and then for here it's water so it shouldn't matter if there's a block there or not and then it goes all the way to this side of the wall and yeah that's that's the entirety of the farm and like I said I have yet to test this out I want to I want to test it out on camera with you guys and yeah so let's go ahead and do that all we got to do is flip this lever and the whole farm should be on now Okay, we heard it working. There goes the flying machines. Perfect. Look at that. Look at all that sugar cane. And they should just continuously go from this side all the way to that side and then bounce back. So let's fly over there quick and see that happen. Make sure it happens correctly. So we'll land here. And yeah, those flying machines just come along on the second block and just knock off the top two layers of the sugar cane as you can see right there and they shoot pretty well look at that Woo! lots of cane lots and lots of cane and then they'll bounce here and then bounce back look at that perfect that worked exactly how I wanted it to work alright ladies and gentlemen we shall see Let's check out the hopper minecarts here. 
see if they're bouncing back and forth. And yep, oh, I saw a few down there. A lot of them should be unloading. Yeah, look at that. Look at all those minecarts unloading sugarcane. And then once they're undone loading, they'll bounce back and pick up more and then come back and unload more and send it through this item item elevator and into the storage system over there and we'll check out how much we got in just a minute I want to explain how much actually how much actual work took to make this so all these redstone blocks I literally had to go out mining like three times just to get enough redstone I ran out of redstone like three times I had to completely harvest all the sugar cane that was planted here like multiple times that's how I got enough to plant the farm and what else yeah I, I ran out of resources a lot building this farm and I had to go mining three times I believe it was three times just to get redstone and yeah I didn't want to show all that and show all the grindy work of what had to be done for this but yeah I thought it'd be easier to explain and yeah look at that it's working beautifully obviously sometimes you'll see it stop but that's just ghost blocks from loading like you just saw right there <laughs> but yeah this is working perfectly and looks like we got some sugar cane coming up here might have to make this taller but that's alright it's probably minimal loss on the farm and yeah I had to rebuild these flying machines like three times and yeah I didn't want to readjust this part that's why I didn't I didn't fill in that other block but like I said we're gonna get so much sugar cane from this farm it's not even funny like literally not even funny but ladies and gentlemen I do believe that'll do it for today. I really, really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching the video. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. It'll really help my channel out. And uh, yeah, if you want more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Adios, amigos. Oh, wait. But there's more. I forgot to check the stock on how much we actually are getting from this farm. So let's go and do that quick. Just want to show you guys real quick so you're not missing out. And voila, look at that. It's coming in pretty quick. And that's just from when I started it. So that's a lot of sugar cane. And also, guys, I have some bad news. In the last time I loaded the world, I don't know what happened. But maybe we can see it from here. I don't know. I don't think we can no we can't see it from here so I loaded the world and just notice I wasn't getting any iron but yeah our husk has disappeared which sometimes that happens when you load the game sometimes it just it just happens that way so I'm probably gonna have to fix that off camera and get that going again and get another zombie or zombie variant to get in there. But yeah, we will end the episode there today, guys. And I hope you enjoyed, and adios, amigos.